today we're going to have a look at pruning using some floristry techniques and often the way to sort of improve your technical skills is to look outside the box and uh, by looking at another industry like floristry and all the skills they use for that you can adapt that into pruning and improve your pruning techniques so we're going to have a look at the vase method and uh, if you enjoy the video just click the like hit the bell and subscribe and we'll show you other technical ways to improve your pruning so the vase method of pruning is where you create this beautiful sort of vase shaped plant and the way you do that of course in this case is removing some of the older wood but trying to keep some of the slightly arching branches but not too arching if they're too arching and going too far away from the plant then you'd prune them off but that's as much as you dare go I think to give that nice display that grey shoots there's one and they're often in the middle and by cutting this out this will allow a bit more air circulation throughout the plant try and get to the bottom of some of these pieces one more take out a bit more and we'll take that out just to give a little bit more air into the plant It just looks like as if you're doing a vase for the house and uh, we'll just have a quick look at doing a vase for the house and compare it but it does give you a nice shape and form and habit to the plant so we're just going to have a look at the vase method of pruning but just before we do that we'll have a look how you make a little flower arrangement and we can use some of those principles when we're pruning so obviously when we're trying to create a vase shape we're trying to create this nice sort of arching branches uh, I've selected a few plants I've got some uh, Osmaria but woody eye so I'm going to use that I'm just going to strip out the bottom third of the leaves we'll do that with the secateurs and we'll cut these off actually and just discard that and what I'm going to do is just cut through those and then that will give me a nice sort of bit of greenery to pop in there so I'll pop that one in there just going to cut that one off as well strip those off so that's one piece in there and we try to balance it on the other side you probably have two maybe three or four and uh, so that's how we start off by putting the greenery so what I'm going to do is to just pop a cetonium in there to add a little bit more texture at the front just manipulate that bend it a little bit to get that manipulation now I'm going to position these really nice sort of vase like fuchsias in to give a bit of height it's lacking a bit of height so I'm going to pop them in and that should make that look a bit more interesting and so I'm going to put another big one at the back here just give it a bit of height and then what I need is a couple just to the side so I'm just going to cut that down a little bit and just pop that in there. And the idea is just to give this sort of slightly arching out display. I can pull one of these from the back, pop that in the side. And then we've kind of got this vase-like shape. And the idea what florists are trying to do is as if it comes from one point, the lines are coming from there and out. And when we do our pruning using the vase method, that's what we're trying to do, create this sort of shape where it's this outward shape so um, let's see we'll give it a go and we'll have a look at the vase method of pruning so I pruned this uh, Duccia the other day this is Duccia magician using the sort of vase method and the idea is, is that we're creating these sort of stems and then they're arching out a little bit so on this latest hysteria Formosa you can see that I've kept the arching branches in that one's just at the limit you'd want to sort of cut that off if you got any more arching because obviously it's going to fall away and again you can see how similar it is to doing a flower arrangement um, so it's very important that you've got the lines all springing from one point and it's the same in an arrangement you want to spring 
the lines as if it's all coming from one point and that's the if you like the key to when you are doing a flower arrangement so when you're choosing plants to create this vase shape one of the things you've got to watch out for is are the stems strong enough now on this rose the stems are really strong so that enables it to support this sort of canopy uh, there are one or two branches which i've got to just take off just to make sure that they're not overhanging the drive but you can see it's got that kind of nice vase shape and uh, there isn't a lot more to do on this one there's uh, I could take the one off down here just to sort of just have a quick look what that looks like if I do that and you can see if I do that you still got a very nice shape so you can see now we've got this lovely arching shape and we could run sort of a clematis or another plant up it or you could have some plants around the base of it just to add extra texture and interest. Of course if the rose hasn't got a really strong stem you could put a metal frame just to give it a bit of strength and then train the branches down to maximize the flowers. Of course another one that we can use to create the lovely sort of vase shape is the fuchsia especially these hardy fuchsias and uh, so I've trimmed it down so there aren't so many branches and I've just got to take out a few of these bits and bobs. When you do your vase shape of course you can have some nice sort of foliage plants at the base. Uh, there's some uh, shuttlecock ferns here but you could have some begonias or something and you can start to make it a bit more like uh, an arrangement Running climbers up through it or uh, having another plant with a different texture can make it even more interesting. So you can see here on this peanut butter plant, the Melianthus major, if I thin out the base a bit and uh, just rein it in a little bit, that could make a nice vase shape. And what you can do then, of course, is have another plant, maybe some blues, some blue salvias or something to pop through it to give you that added dimension. That's using the vase technique and it's great on Leicester, it's great on Dutia and it's great on things like Philadelphus as well. So why not give that a go?